hi what's up how is it going in, in today's video i'm going to show you how to create 3d icon in corridor 2020 you know without further ado let's step into it so let's go ahead to uh type you know 3d let's type 3d so what we're going to do next is to go over to this place and change it to uh, a font you know a bold font can you see that so right now what i'm going to do is to maneuver this so let's uh, give it a color first apply blue then you go over uh, to your uh, what's it called interactive fill tool so let's create a gradient effect right there so let's change the lower uh, side to uh, to cyan so what we're going to do next is to go over uh, to uh, to apply go over uh, to apply envelope uh, you know uh, to envelope uh, effect so right here let's double click right here not to why so double click this dot right here to appear the dot then you right click to straighten up then you go over to this place as well right click straighten up then double click this dot to unappear that right click straighten up that double click then right click straighten up uh, the line so right now what we're going to do is to uh, just maneuver things you know just like so you drag this uh, point right here you know position it so well position it just like this then you go over and pull this up a bit Pull this, you know, a little bit, you know, uh, that side. Pull this a little bit this side. Then you pull this this side. Then you pull this up just like so. Just like so. Good. So right now, the next step right now is to go over uh, to your, what's it called? Your contour to Click on that. Then drag downward. Just like so good so right now what we're going to do is to go over to object then you locate you know break you know contour apart so that gives you room to separate them so as this right now so let's drag this you know color right here drag it on top of the black then you release your mouse you know options where it pops out then you select you know copy our property automatically it, ap it applies to uh, the down image the down object rather so what you're going to do right now is to go over and change the position of that you know effect just like so just drag it just this just just this way can you see drag it until you are okay with what, what you're doing good so right now we're going to do next to go over to what's it called locate your envelope uh, extrude tool so click on that and drag downward good so if you don't want to really you know uh, relate with this this angle right here you can decide to change the position of this thing uh, of the uh, extruding so you can decide to control it right here so I think it's okay this way so what we're going to do next to go over you know right here you can decide to change it to uh, any of this direction but preferably this is okay so what we're going to do next to go over to uh, object then you look at you know break you know extrude extrude group apart automatically it breaks can you see that so right now what you're going to do is to go over to select the uh, upper object which is this then you go over uh, to your what's it called locate you know a uh, shadow tool then you drag to apply shadow on that just like so good so right now what you're going to do is to just you know type uh, let's make it a little bit smaller so can you see that so let's 
just uh, make the shadow a little bit you know sharper right there let's make it 90 good can you see that so let's go over uh, to objects then you locate break drop shadow apart automatically it breaks so right now what we're going to do next is to select uh, the protruding uh, what's it called depth then you select the tool let's group that so what you're going to do right now is to go over and select this two group that already let's group that ctrl g to group that then you select the whole thing so hold uh shift key to select the upper object to deselect that that makes that deselected so you can see that so let's hit ctrl z to bring that back group down that, that you've selected then you go over to apply a shadow to that good so right now what you're going to do is to go over to this place let's make the shadow a little bit you know uh, spread let's make it 80 so right now go over to this place let's make it on the red good so right now go over to object break shadow apart then you select select the shadow let's adjust the shadow a little bit then make a copy upward send to back send to back just like so good so position that so well so what you're going to do next to go over and uh, let's convert it to bitmap good so right now let's uh go over to your transparency to uh click on uniform can you see that so this is the outcome of what we created so far you know don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so that other people can benefit from what we are sharing right now and uh don't forget to subscribe as well you know see you in the next video bye for now